now I'm going to demonstrate that we can actually do multi-year budgeting. And so what we'll do here is we'll start off by entering the budget tool. We've already got a budget for 2015. So what we'll do next is we'll create a budget for 2016. And now you can see that we're in a new budget screen. We can come in with the parameters. We can still set the base year because let's presume that we are trying to budget multiple years at once. So we won't have actual activity for 2015. We still don't here, given that we're only uh, a little less than halfway through the year. So we'll set the base period to still be 2014. But the budget period will now be 2016. So instead of an escalation percent of 2.5%, let's presume it's 2.5% per year. So I'll make this 5%. Because if we increase it by 2.5% the first year and then 2.5% the second year, I know that the math works out. It's a little over 5%, but for simplicity, we'll use 5%. So 2016, the escalation percent will be 5% over the base year. The annual hours, again, the calendar is working out to 2,088 hours rather than 2,080, and we can set the default rate and the default state. Next, we'll come in and we'll establish the tax rates. So again, the tax rates, we're going to find the payroll tax accounts and we'll identify the tax type and we'll establish the rate to be 6.2 percent and we know that the rate is going to change we haven't determined yet what the wage max for 2016 is but we can estimate it so we'll just estimate it at 120,000 at this point and then we can come in with the Medicare, make that a Medicare type tax, and put it at 1.45%, and there is no wage max. But then we'll get the Affordable Care Act surcharge, again, a Medicare type tax, and the percent is 9 tenths of 1%. And this minimum wage is 250000 So we are going to budget a 9 tenths of 1% tax on any wages over 250000 And then finally, we'll budget the federal unemployment tax. And it's a federal unemployment tax type account. And that is going to be 6 tenths of 1% on the first $7,000. And then we come in for the state, and we will budget a state unemployment tax. The state will be Virginia. The tax type, state unemployment. And we'll put in a rate, 2.3%, and we're going to assume the first $8,000. Hopefully the legislature won't change that. And then we'll budget some workers' comp here as well. Uh, again, it's worth noting that workers' comp can be budgeted either as a payroll tax or as a group benefit, whichever way you choose to do it uh, is certainly fine. And we'll, we'll presume uh, five-tenths of 1% rate. Um, move on to the next. We get to the personnel screen. And here, we're going to need to go through and budget all the wages again. Here, this is pulling out of the, the previous year in QuickBooks. Uh, but we can come through and budget employee by employee all these different things, just the way we budgeted them before. So the idea here is that we'll go through and budget the same way we budgeted for the previous year so we can develop multi-year budgets.